What's happening, YouTubers? Uh, this is my YZ250, and I'm just, you know, replacing uh, the vent hoses on here. I'm about to put some more of the nice new pink ones, because I had to order them, and they, they just arrived today, so I'm about to do that. But something else that uh, was going on from uh, my ride last weekend, you know, the, uh, the choke button goes right here and the issue was you know you pull the choke up to crank the bike but the button would not stay up it would pop back down very easily you know with barely any even the vibration of the bike would make it fall back down so I'm sure many of you have had that happen before uh, yeah you can you know, hack, do a little hack job and do some safety wire on this little rubber boot right here. And that'll hold it up in place. The issue, though, is this is just worn out. You know, it has a little notch right there and a spring down at the bottom of it. But if you can just barely touch the thing and it falls back down, simply put, this piece is worn out. Because I have a brand new one here. And you notice, it's a much more solid click when you pull it up. And you have to really push on it. So that'd be the choke position right there. And I had to really pull up on that thing to get it to click in place. So there's your answer. If your choke button will not stay up, just replace this whole assembly. You can buy this on eBay. You know, just search for whatever bike you have. Maybe if you know the carburetor model, like this is a Kian PWK. And these fit a wide range of the Kian two-stroke carburetors. So, you know, if you just search for Kian PWK or PJ or, you know, PE or whatever your carburetor model is, you can most likely find a brand new replacement for the choke button. Problem solved. Uh, the only tricky part now, what I'm, what you should do if you haven't, you know, once you remove the old one, which is kind of tricky, believe it or not, because you don't have much room to work with in here. I mean, yeah, it's technically a 14, but there's not much room to tighten it and all that. So you know, it just takes a little bit of work to get it to come out of there. But it's made of plastic, so it's not going to be very tight. Uh, but when you remove it, I would blow the chamber out, you know, with some comp compressed air, maybe some carburetor cleaner. You know, just blow all that out real quick because it'll come out this little hole right here. And um, that's that. Replace your choke plunger, and you'll notice it is rather sprung as well. See, that they're supposed to be the same height. This is the old one on the left. It's sprung, you know, it's spring is sprung, basically. So it's just worn out, simply put. Anywho, that's it. Check out our other videos. we got more stuff for this bike. Uh, YZ250, Chevy truck stuff, Ford Mustang stuff, Buick Skylark stuff, Harley Davidson stuff, lawnmower stuff. Always up to something. So check out our other videos. Check y'all later.